So, Felicia and my job, huh? Oh, it's not your job. You're in your job. Am I? I never know. It's like a parallel universe down there in that basement. Is it my turn yet? Cheater. Ten minutes. I'm timing you. So Felicia's going to be heading up Mother's design team? Well, that was the offer. She didn't say yes, and she didn't say no. Well, you're never going to convince me that this was Mother or Thorne's big brainstorm. Felicia's designs are a little bit edgy, but your mother did say she thought it was something she could work into these new classical designs. You know, you think you're so clever. You do. I can read you like a book. Yeah, Braille, maybe. Yeah, I get your Braille. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You're just trying to bring the lamb back into the fold. I know what you're doing. Oh, uh, Felicia is definitely no lamb. Don't you think it would be good to have her back? Really? I mean, your mother's all alone in that great big house? Yeah. I wonder why. Okay, I'm not saying she isn't reaping what she sowed, but at least Felicia's detached from this whole thing. I mean, and, and your mother wouldn't have to be on her guard all the time. Are you kidding? If you're expecting those two to live under the same roof, you better hide all the knives and put away everything that says poison. Did she say anything about me? Well, she seemed amused. I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't say, yeah. No, she seems happy that you're banished to the basement. Yeah, I'm sure she loves that one. <laughs> well, it's not a, a thing out of spite. It's, it's more like that big brother, little sister thing. She adores you. Hey. Okay, so it's my turn. Okay. I wrote to her when she was in France. She didn't write back. Well, she did, but her letters never really said much. I think Nick Moroni messed with her head. I kind of got that feeling, too, that she wasn't just here because of the job offer. I mean, that door's been open for a long time. Why do you think she came to see you, and yet she wouldn't stick around to see me? Me, she can keep at an arm's length. You, she has to get real with. Time's up. Spoiled sport. Hey. Thank you for bringing my baby sister back. Well, I wish I could tell you for sure that she was going to stay. You're very subversive, you know that? I thought I was upstanding. But I'll take subversive. You go under the guise of enlisting yourself with my mother's team here. What you're really trying to do is to uh, patch things up with my family. That would have happened with or without my help. You're all so, I don't know, what's the word, connected? Yeah, and our hands are on each exactly. other's Exactly, exactly. You can't leave each other alone. Is that love? It's a side effect. Hmm. Any word from Hector? No. You mean you guys can leave each other alone? Yes. It must not be love, then. I never said it was. You know, I would rather you... chastise me, throw me out of the house, than kiss some other guy. I'd rather those not be my only two choices. You can always just, you know, uh, like me. I do like you. You're such a guy. You've got too many clothes on, you know that? See what I mean? You're such a guy. Don't you forget it. You know I only married you for the sex. That's all I'm good for anyway. Mm. Well, you're a pretty good father. As long as the kids' votes don't count. Mm. You're kind of talented. I'm a hack. That's how I make money. Mm. Don't stop. What else do you like about me? Hmm. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're not a quitter. I think I like that best. I like throwing a tantrum and storming out, though. Yeah, but you always come back. And what choice do I have? What if you took me at my word and booted me out? You could do better, you know. 
Sweetheart, if I ever made you feel like I don't love you the way you are, I am sorry. Oh, there is hope. I must be awful to live with. Totally agonizing. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm always analyzing and finding fault. Mine are easier to find. I personally like to hide mine. Well, you don't have any. See? You're mm -hmm. totally snowed. You are so snowed. Mm. I've got to be the luckiest lughead in the world to be lying here next to you. Nobody's going to convince me otherwise. Hmm. Well, in that case, you're right. Those have got to be the two favorite words in the English language for me. You don't say them nearly enough. What was it? What was it? One more time. You're right. We're okay, Doc. We're gonna be okay. Right again. Oh, what? Well, well.